Graham, Mark Morris, TotalToBeTheBroke.com, TotalToBeTheBroke.com. I was trying to think, how did I get in debt back in 2008? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Engineer with the most videos on YouTube in the world. I think one thing I did was I bought two duplexes. I was going to try to get into the rental house. Was it the rental, what is it, rental property stuff? So I bought a couple of duplexes in, Uple in Yucca Valley. I had just bought a 325 BMW. The payments were about 500 a month. Then you have the insurance. And then I decided to fix up the rental places because I was like, oh, everyone will pay their rent. The, the rentals will not, the renters will like to have a nice place to live. And I raised the rent by $25. Everybody moved out, man. They're like, oh, I can't pay that or this and that because they're only paying $500, man. And I, was, and I had come from paying like a thousand, thousand eight hundred. So I'm like, hey, to increase the rent by twenty-five thousand would be nothing. They taught me something. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Then after that, some of the property taxes kept going up. Even though in 2008 we got hit by the big credit crunch, I still kept getting tax bills from the state. So that was pushing me in debt because the tenants weren't paying, paying the car payments. Then started having problems with the car because the gas, the fuel system went out. So then I had to rent a car until I could decide if, since it was a new car, if the dealer would fix it. So that's, and then after that, I made another mistake with my grandmother's estate. Instead of going to a real lawyer, I thought her friend, so-called paralegal friend, knew what they were doing. That was a disaster. So that cost me another thirty-five, forty thousand dollars. So that's how you end up at $135 in debt within one or two days, within a month, within a year. Not counting, I had another $14,000 on a line of credit because I had to try to pay for the repairs on the house, property management. It was a disaster, man. But now 2023 out of debt, I've learned stay away from rental property, man. Be an investor. Do not buy it unless you have a whole lot of money. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So that's how I got $135 in debt. You decide if you want to buy rental property. You decide if you want to get the luxury car. You deal with the repairs, which at least $359 just to have them look at it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's how I ended up in debt for $135,000 plus in 2008. Let me know what you think.